Good morning, folks. Four huge solar tornadoes dancing in a line over the eastern limb, set to face Earth at the end of the weekend. We're going to see two sun-diving comets, more data missing out of SOHO when there's really something to see, the Earth-facing quiet taken round one in the current battle with our star, big quakes are coming back, and we get a new look at a blast from the past, literally. One comet is easily visible coming towards the sun under the diagonal arm holding the disk that blocks out solar glare, but actually that is the bigger of two comets coming in on that line. Both Kreutz comets, and both were once likely one rock before splitting up to become two. The missing data is mostly relevant on the C2 coronagraph. We have, yet again, eight hours missing, exactly during potential breakup or impact, with a later image posted from eight hours later, so we know it's not just a delay in the satellites. Frustrating. Anyway, coming to spaceweathernews.com, we are finding one very calm Earth-facing disk. In the southern active region that popped the M-class flares, we see surface activity, but no more major flares. In 304 angstroms, we can really see how there were not any releases of material to be seen from our little rock. Coming to the X-ray flux, we find another day of depressed solar flaring from what we know those spots produced before facing Earth. So let's come into the spots and see a further decrease in size up north with almost no magnetic mixing remaining. Meanwhile, size and delta-class magnetism still preside over the south. Any other solar cycle, this spot would be good for X-class events. Solar wind has been steady now for a couple days but remains above average speed so the KP index is a bit up off the floor. Folks, the bigger quakes are returning with a six-pointer on the southeastern Pacific rise and another that halts four days of decreasing magnitude rumbles in Indonesia. The green IMF lines coming from the incoming positive corona hole are beginning to affect Earth, then will break a bit, but should come back hard as the backside of that corona hole up there is a huge bulge extending down near the equator and carrying strong power. Earthquake index continues to rise and the next uptick is on our doorstep. Speaking of quakes, this is an animation from the Indonesia tsunami event 11 years ago. A magnitude 9 earthquake shook the Indian Ocean and sent ripples felt on the other side of the globe. Often there will be anomalous high points at unexpected locations and these animations can help show which islands and inlets decide the worst hit areas. We are just about one month from observing the frontier in Phoenix. The Mobile Observatory will be there, and so will some of the top scientists in our favorite fields, making everything easier to understand and actually getting the chance to shake your hands ourselves, our favorite part of being on tour. Also, folks, episode 101 of Deeper Look posted last night. It is a mini fly-on-the-wall style show, but an important topic. We've got pressure and radar in our top viewer locations, an earth spot lesson with the earth wind map, and shots of our star to close. It's 5.35 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.